So if I was you, I would not keep most of my money in the bank. A lot of people don't know what's happening out here right now. And things are about to get drastically serious. I've taken all of my money out of retail stocks because theft is hurting their bottom line. Food theft is about to skyrocket due to people getting eliminated from SNAP benefits and also their SNAP benefits are being reduced. They're not letting you know everything that's about to happen. Home prices are being reduced. People want to refinance their home so they can just pay their bills, but they're not able to because the rates are so high and prices on homes are getting greatly, greatly reduced. So this is keeping people stuck in a box situation. Your reality isn't what you prepared for. The wealthy are getting bailouts and it's going to affect you. If I was you, I would take out half of my money out of the banks because you don't know when another bank is gonna collapse. And God forbid if any Chinese bank collapse, because you know how the US and China economies are intertwined. So if one starts doing bad, the other is gonna do horrible. You cannot believe the news or your politician that you will not pay for the bank bailouts. The hardworking American citizen will pay. It might not come out of your taxes, but you are going to pay through inflation because when banks are bailed out or anything is bailed out, companies are bailed out, inflation rises and we have inflation on the rise yet again. Food thefts are going up. One of the reasons why I've taken all of my money out of retail stocks because theft is hurting their bottom line. The Dallas housing market is suffering greatly because credit card debt is at an all time high. And this is leaving buyers out of the housing market for the future because they have to spend more money on their needs and on bills through credit card debt because inflation has eaten up everybody's equity, 401ks, pensions. People have to spend more money to keep up with inflation. The reason why most people are going through this is because they are afraid to use good debt. They'll use bad debt all day long, all day to get a home loan, car loan, student loan, and, he, and this bad debt is not gonna move the needle or move your bottom line. All it's gonna do is hurt you in the long run. So if I told someone to go out there, get a $20,000 credit card, and show them how to get a $20,000 credit card, they'll be so scared of how they're gonna pay it back. But they can go and get a car, finance a car that's gonna cost you 50,000, and then pay interest, 30,000 on that car, 80,000, no problem. So if you're gonna listen to your realtor to buy a home, and if you buy a home this year, your house is gonna be greatly devalued because the dollar is about to be devalued and people are gonna have to use credit cards more to pay their bills, to pay what they need in their everyday lives. They're not gonna be able to afford the home due to debt to income ratio, which is gonna keep them disqualified. And you're gonna see more home prices drop because the buyer pool is about to get smaller. New home bills. Now, if you exist in home and you have to compete with a new home build and then the builders are constantly building, 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 and the price range is not even affordable for most people. New bills are starting out at 400,000, 500,000. When the, when the dollar gets devalued again, and it will be, prepare for the second half of this year, I say around July, August, around that time and on, 
you're going to see things start to get very, very harder. And things that you could afford, you're not going to be able to definitely afford. And when that happens, home values are going to drop. Now, all these people that's out there looking for homes right now, and their realtor is telling them this is a great time to buy, they're going to be stuck. Right now, we're seeing price cuts from $50,000 to $100,000. Now, when the bank bailouts are factoring to the economy, you're going to see home prices drop even more. I would not pay. If a house was $350,000 right now, I would only pay $250,000 for that house. I have to price in the devaluation. I would have to price in the inflation, the price cuts. You need someone on your side that's going to work and help you build generational wealth for your family when it comes to buying a house. Real estate is the only thing that if it's bought right, it will make you money for a lifetime. But you have to know how to buy it right. You have to know the price. You have to know how to negotiate.